back again, brothers and sisters. I just want to share a message. This one comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, starting at the fourth verse, ending at the fifth. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. And are carnal. This word inside of us is so powerful that it goes out and accomplished exactly what God meant it to do. We have to understand that word inside of us. When we speak it to one another, we speak it to ourselves as well. And believe. It's so transformative. One of the things I like in one of the other verses is casting down imagination. Casting them down. Because this world teaches us so much unbelief. This world teaches us a lie. All you have to do is listen to the media. Particularly when it speaks against our people. It's an imagination. It's a lie. We can listen to the man in the White House. Just cast it down. Cast it down. Imagination. Not speaking truth, not speaking those things that are eternal. This word inside of us is a living word. We're speaking the eternal word into time. Making it line up. Bringing it into captivity. Bringing into captivity. We got to capture that thing. We got to bring it into captivity. Every thought to the obedience of Christ. Who's Christ? The Word of God. He's the Word of God. Long before he walked this earth with a robe of flesh covering him, he was. In the beginning was God. In the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was there in the beginning. We got to bring in to captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, who is the Word of God. A lot of times because we have only had a limited education, and I'm talking a limited spiritual education. A lot of times we think of Jesus, Yeshua, the man. And because we see him in our mind's eye as a man walking around with the word of God in him, we lose sight of the fact that he is the word of God. And even though that fleshly form isn't walking among us, he even taught us when he was resurrected how quickly he can change forms. Because when Mary saw him in the garden after his resurrection, he wasn't wearing that same robe of flesh. Because the word of God can occupy anybody. Whenever he wants. But it's so transforming. It's so powerful. It's life itself. It's spirit. We have to bring. Into captivity. Every thought. Into the obedience. Of Christ. Who is the word of God. God's word goes out. He speaks it, and it goes out. When we believe it, when we trust it, it can change the way we think. That's why you're bringing in the captivity 
every thought to the obedience of Christ. Who is Christ? Chapter 19, the book of Revelation tells us the word of God. It's God's words talking. Where did the word come from? It came straight out of God. Look at the power of it. Look at the power of it. That's why the weapons of our warfare aren't carnal. They aren't carnal, but mighty through God. Because the words come from God to the pulling down of strongholds. Many of us are caught in the stronghold of the mentality of this nation we've been raised in. It's not the mentality of our people. We're spiritual people. This system disrespects the spirit. The spirit that's in it is a spirit that worships money, that worships idols. It's an idol-worshiping spirit. But we are not of it. We're just in it. And the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. There are strongholds in our minds, in our lives, that we can use the word of God, speak to that thing, make it line up. We bring it into the captivity and make it be obedient to the word of God. It has to obey. It's coming straight from God who created all things. It changes the way we see things. It changes our footsteps. It guides us and directs us. In the still of the night, I hear the word of God talk to me. A soft voice. So powerful. I'm entranced. It showed me pure beauty, which is love and truth. It showed me treasure that it's not measured by a man who has carnal intent, an unspiritual person. God's opening our eyes. There's the eyes of the spirit. Many of us are beginning to gain a greater understanding about what God has in store for us who love him. Weapons of our warfare are not carnal. It's a powerful statement. And when we line up with the truth of it, when we line up with the belief of it, it also lines up with itself. Line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little, there a little. Leaving behind those sins that so easily beset us. That's those things that attack our minds. That's those things that attack our minds. That's why we have to cast down imaginations, their thoughts that come to our minds. That we start believing those thoughts and acting on them. But we've got a weapon, and that's the word of God. And we can bring in the captivity every thought. I don't have to speak my word. You don't have to speak your word to the thought. You speak the word of God, and it'll line up. It has no choice. Casting down imagination and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Whew, now that's some potency. Because you got things that exalt itself against the knowledge of God. Yes, it does. And you don't have to overthink it to recognize it, to get the message of it. Casting down imagination. Sometimes people get a thought. We start believing the thought and bring the thing to life. You got to be careful what you think. Guard your thoughts. When your mind gets overwrought, talk to God. Ask God to renew your thinking. You got to cast down imagination. 
and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. This system exalted itself against the knowledge of God. It thinks it is God. Instead of earth and ashes, a vapor that the wind of life will blow away. Nothing more than a flower in the garden of life sprung up the day wilted and cut down tomorrow. Casting down imaginations, those sins that so easily beset us, leaving it behind. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Anything that wants to make the word of God a lie, anything that says to you, no, you can't do it. If God told you yes, yes, and amen, if God word, if God's word guaranteed it to you, it is yours. Cast down those imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and you bring it into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Who is Christ? He's the word of God. He's the word of God. God's word is pure, like silver refined in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. No. The angel of the most high is fighting for us. When you pray, God of mine ancestors, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In the mighty name of Yeshua, many call him Jesus. That's the word of God. God Almighty, I'm going to speak your word into your ear. He's listening. Yes, he is. Send nine powerful angels. Help me. Guide us. Teach us. Speak to us. Be with us. Casting down those imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of you, most high God, Elohim. Because you said it, and we believe it. The weapons of our warfare aren't carnal. They're mighty. We gotta walk it. We gotta talk it. We gotta strengthen each other in it. This world is a lie. And the only reason, the only thing that gives it strength is if you believe the lie. But it's a lie. The everlasting will be everlasting. Heaven and earth may pass away, but not one. Not one tittle of the Lord's word, of God's word, will be moved. This is God's earth. He's still king of kings. He accepts no rivals. No rivals. Cast him down, imaginations. Cast them down. Leave behind no sins that so easily beset us. That's those Evil spirits trying to ensnare you, trying to slow you down. When those attacks come, that's because you're close to the mark. You're doing a mighty work. This message is for somebody. God put it on my heart. It's on my spirit to do this. Because somebody's supposed to hear it. Somebody's supposed to see it. Remember the weapons. And why does it say the weapons of our warfare? <laughs> because we're soldiers. That's why. Don't you remember? We wrestle not against flesh and blood. No. But against wicked spiritual forces. Against principalities. 
principalities. They're different dominions of angels. But those principalities that we wrestle against, those are those fallen angels. But, oh, don't get scared. Don't back up. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Remember? Jesus said we already got the victory. He won. You just got to believe. You got to use your faith. What is faith? Faith is the substance of those things hoped for and the things yet to be seen. Faith. Without faith, you can't please God. Faith. Faith. It's easy to have faith in things that come quick. This is that faith in the middle of the fight. This is that faith that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had when they was going into that furnace. No matter what you do, I will never bow to you, Nebuchadnezzar. Because I know the God to whom I am committed. I know who is God. Whether he saved me or I meet him on the other side of everlasting. I know to whom I am committed. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. No, it's not. You got to take that faith. He rewards faith. Yes, he does. You got to have faith that this message is for you, and yet you know it's for you. Bringing in the captivity, every thought to the old. Obedience of Christ is the word of God. That's the thoughts in our own minds. Bringing it into captivity. Many of us right now are living the truth of that faith. We know, we can't even always explain how we made it from yesterday to today. According to what this so-called reality says. We should have been in the middle of Motra. And yet we sitting in the middle of joy. <laughs> God so deep He'll give us happiness in the middle of the storm To let us know He calms the winds and the rain Faith The weapons of our warfare Are not carnal No they're not They're mighty Through God to the pulling down of strongholds Yeah his faith that got us through this land is so powerful. It gives us a discerning ear. We know when we're being lied to. We know the beauty that God put inside of us. That's why the world wants to attack. Hmm. We're in the world but are not of the world. And that's okay. I want to share this word. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds. That's right. That's right. That's right. Casting down imaginations. There's nothing wrong with you. Cast that thing down. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, which is the Word of God. And bring it into captivity. That's right. There's one more piece I wanted to share. Sometimes when God puts something on us to share with one another, we feel as though we're not worthy. We feel as though there's a better person. Somebody else should do it. But let me tell you about the God we serve. Hmm? I'm in 1 Corinthians. Chapter 1, verse 27. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. 
And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. So when you feel weak, but God put you on a mission, he sent you on a journey. <laughs> Remember what he said in his word. You got to cast down those imaginations. Here it is. You got to bring it into obedience with the word of God. Right? God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world and things which are despised hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are. Mm. That no flesh should glory in his presence. God chose you. There's somebody that's listening to this. You feel weak. You feel despised. You feel like it just could not be me. It is you. That's where this message is coming from. That's where this message is going to. It is not an accident that you're seeing this. God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. You get these people, they think they know so much. Oh, but my, my, my. God chose you to confound them. And those weak things? Huh? To confound the things which are mighty. And the base things of the world. And things which are despised. Hath God chosen Yeah, and things which are not to bring to not things that are. There are people who think themselves so mighty and think so little of others that there's some people that think other people are nothing. Things that are not to bring to not things that are. <laughs> remember, brothers, remember my sisters. We are the Confederate House of Israel. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're mighty through God. To the pulling down of strong. The mightiness of it is through God. Casting down imaginations. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, which is the word of God. That's power. That's power. This message is for you. God put it on my heart and spirit to keep talking. Tell them. It's for you. It's not an accident. You're not imagining anything. Casting down imaginations. Remember? Every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. This message was intentionally put out there for you. I know one day I'm going to have to stand before God. Oh, Hey, what you told me, God. I told them. You are loved. Your prayers are heard. And God is there with you. And these words are for you. Walk in the light. Rest in the light. Follow the word of God, and you're going to be all right. And remember, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the point.
pulling down a stronghold. That stronghold on your life is broken. He uses the foolish thing to confine the wise. Confound the wise. If somebody made you feel foolish, God about to use you for my work. <laughs> he uses the weak things of the world. To confound the things which are mighty. Be blessed. It's not an accident. Casting down imaginations. And everything that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Cast it down. Speak to it. Speak his word over it. His power and the word of God. Speak to that thing. Make it line up. Make it line up. And remember, God is for you. And if God is for you, who can be against you and prevail? No. Casting down imagination. And remember the weapons of your warfare, our warfare, are not carnal, but mighty through God. This message is for you. That's why you're here. May the power of the Most High God, according to His purpose, in the mighty name of Yeshua, bless thee. That thy word go out and not come back void, but do exactly what thou purposed it to do. And may you bless the listener, mighty Father, as we bless you. In the mighty name of Yeshua, honoring thy glorious Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace.